Good morning everyone and welcome back to Kids Zone. It is really good to be with you today. This week we're going to be thinking about what it means to be changed. And we're going to hear the story of a man who was changed when he met Jesus. And it was a special meeting. And when people met with Jesus, they were changed. Their attitudes changed, their opinions changed, their lives changed. And we're going to hear more about that today. But first we're going to stand and we're going to sing together. And the song that we're singing today is a lively one. So you get to do a wee bit of dancing in the middle. You can even play a wee bit of violin if you want. Uh, but this is called God is Good All the Time. And we're going to stand and we're going to get involved in the actions. So come on, let's sing God is Good, God is Good All the Time. Let's do it. God is good. Song of praise in this heart of mine. God is good all the time. Through the darkest night, there's light will shine. God is good. God is good all the time. If you're walking through the valley, there are shadows all around. Do not fear. He will guide you, He will keep you safe and sound. He has promised to never leave you or forsake you. And His word is true, God is good all the time. He put a song of praise in this heart of mine. God is good all the time, through the darkest night. His light will shine, God is good, God is good, all the time, yes, He We were sinners, and so unworthy, still for us He chose to die. Fill us with His Holy Spirit, that we can stand and testify that His love is endless good. And his mercy, and he will never end. God is good all the time. He put his song of praise in his heart and mind. God is good all the time. Through the darkest night, his light will shine. God is good. God is good all the time. A wee quiz for you. 
I'm going to think about opposites today. So I'm going to give you some words and I want you to tell me what the opposite of that is. So for example, if I say good, you would say bad. If I said light, you would say dark. If I said happy, you would say sad. If I said strong, you would say, that's it, weak. If I said friend, you would say enemy. And if I said love, you would tell me it's hate. So these are opposite words. And today we're going to think about someone who was an enemy of Jesus and his followers, but he changed to be a friend. I wonder if that's ever happened to you. I wonder whether you've ever met someone and you just cannot get on with them. You don't like them at all. And then something happens and you change your opinion of that person. I wonder if you've ever had someone who's been an enemy become your friend. But that's what we're going to hear about today. We're going to hear about a man whose name was Saul. And Saul was against the followers of Jesus. He was going round, he was trying to put them in prison, he was trying to have them killed because he didn't believe in Jesus and he didn't know what it meant to love other people. He was very strong and he was very powerful and he would go round and he would persecute the Christians. That means he was mean to them and he tried to put them in prison. So we're going to hear the story of how Saul was transformed and hear that story now. So sit with me and we're going to tell the story of Saul. I'm using the Beginner's Bible this morning to tell the story. So let's look at it. It says this. A bright light. He doesn't look very happy, does he? He looks a bit grumpy, does Saul. There once was a very mean man. He did not like anyone who loved Jesus. He wanted to catch them and put them in jail. He travelled near and far to find them. And one of his trips took him to the big city of Damascus. And there he's travelling with his friends to Damascus. While he was on his way, a bright light suddenly flashed from the sky. It shone all around Saul. Saul closed his eyes. A voice called, Saul, Saul, why are you doing these mean things? Saul was scared. Who are you? Saul asked. I am Jesus, said the voice. Now get up and go to the city. There you will find out what to do. Saul got up, but when he opened his eyes, he could not see. His friends had to lead him to the city. In that city lived a good man named Ananias. Jesus came to him in a dream and said, Go find Saul. So Ananias went to Saul. He touched Saul and said, Jesus sent me so you could see again. Jesus wants you to be one of his friends. Right away, Saul could see again. He got up and was baptised. And you know what? He wasn't mean anymore. He even changed his name. Now everyone called him Paul. And for the rest of his life, Paul told other people about Jesus. Saul was so transformed when he met Jesus. When Jesus came to him and said, this is who I am and I want you to be my friend. That he changed his name, he changed his life, and he chose, instead of being an enemy of Jesus and their followers, he decided to be their friend. 
And for the rest of his life, he sent letters to the churches, he made new churches, he got people and he spoke about Jesus all of the time. And he's a very famous person that you'll hear from in the Bible. So isn't that a good story about how when we meet Jesus, we can be changed? Jesus taught us to love one another. Remember he said that that was the greatest commandment, to love God and to love others as you love yourself. And we were to put other people before ourselves. And Paul, when he became a Christian, he wrote to the churches and he said something amazing. He talked about love. And there's a great passage in Corinthians which tells us about that. And the things that he said about love are these, and we're going to learn them over the next few weeks. We're going to build that up. But these are the things that he said about love. He said that love is the best thing of all. It's forever. It never fails. It helps us to be kind and patient. It helps us to be loyal and to trust. And it stops us from being jealous or boastful or rude or angry or selfish. And isn't that a good way to live? Jesus loved us so much. And when Paul was speaking to the churches, he was saying, Jesus loves you and you should love other people. And this is what love does for us. So I hope today that you can think about what it means to love other people round about you. Maybe it's your family, maybe it's your friends, maybe it's those people that you find it hard to get along with. But love is forever. It's patient and kind. And I pray that for you today. Let's pray together. God, our Father, we thank you that you love us and you keep on loving us even when sometimes we are let you down. And today, Father, we ask that you would be with us, that you would strengthen us, you would help us to be patient and kind, not to be boastful or rude or arrogant, but Lord, that you would come and help us to care for others. We thank you for those people who care for us and love us. And we ask that you would bless them and us today. We ask these things in Jesus' name. And we say, Amen. Remember, if we agree with it, we say, Amen. That's us for today. Thank you again for being with us. We really love having you with us. It wouldn't be the same without you. I hope you've enjoyed hearing the story of Saul and how he changed his life around when he met Jesus. And I pray for that for you today. If you want to get in touch with us, we would love that. Please just put a message onto our Facebook page or our YouTube channel and we will get back to you and share some of your pictures with us. Meanwhile, stay active, stay smiling, stay praying. God bless you and we'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.